What's up, fellow Taco Bell enthusiasts? Today, we're gonna be getting the five-layer bean burrito. Actually, I'm just making things up. Today, we're gonna be doing a challenge where I could only use the stuff that you get from the event pass, which is kind of just two units if you don't count the crates. So there's the Frost DJ speaker man, and at the end, the Sinister Titan TV man. So the Sinister Titan TV man's a mythic. Almost 10,000 exist right now, and then the Frost DJ speaker man has 700,000 exist. A lot of people have gotten to tier 25 so this is gonna be a little difficult because if you look i do not have a farm so it is literally just these two units and the first one is 300 but you start out with 300 on the christmas mode so let's see if that's possible but make sure you like and subscribe right now or, or else whatever this is gonna happen like look at this you don't want that can i have cheeseburger please all right it doesn't really matter if i skip or not because we're not gonna get any extra money per wave so i'm just gonna start out with the frost dj speed your man and i think this is a good place to put him because when you upgrade him he's gonna get more range by the way you gotta keep in mind he does not change where he's facing so i actually think this will be a good investment because he ends up having 240 degrees of range at the end so okay good evan finally picks his animations look at him go he is dancing now and he, he put this dance i told him to do the head bop dance and this is the mystery animation evan didn't make it he has no idea how it got on on the dancing speaker woman and he didn't make it and he originally made one where it was like shaking its head i didn't make this i literally have no idea how whatever this dance has got in the game or what it is but it's kind of funny so we just left it there anyways the first upgrade is 400 i think we're fine i'm gonna skip the wave he does 400 damage per second there is nothing that is gonna get him unless if something early strong comes along but here's the 400 upgrade making him have a hundred 180 AoE range instead of just 160. It also gave him a bit more DPS and more radius, and he's doing really good. Uh oh, Frost Toilet is angry. What is he doing? Why do you just no bad? Frost Toilet, come back! No! Why does he keep turning backwards and glitching? I'm gonna have to tell Evan about this. I wasn't doing this earlier, but here's the 1500 upgrade, so now he does even more DPS and is shredding it through the mutant toilets and boss toilet. And look at him go. This isn't what I had in mind for his animation, but it's pretty close. I think it'll be fine. He's having fun. Oh wait, there's the jetpack police toilet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he got stunned. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, no, that's not good. Uh, Sinister Titan TV Man, go! Come on, Sinister Titan TV Man, get the jetpack toilet. Okay, he does a lot of damage. He's, he's doing good. I think we got him. Hopefully he doesn't get stunned. I don't think he's gonna get stunned though, and we're good. We will win. I'm not gonna skip for a little bit, because I do not think we're doing good. Too many things got passed, but it's, it's probably fine now. It's been like a minute. Look at him get all the boss toilets. I'm gonna get that 3,500 upgrade, and hopefully he doesn't get stunned anytime soon. Come on, I just need 23 more dollars. And there we go. Now he is max level 240 range. Look at how much range he has over this entire area. This is like the best best placement. But he's doing 7,500 damage per second, so I think we're fine. I might sell the Sinister Titan TV man, though, because I really want to place him somewhere else. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're putting him right here, and now, well, we gotta upgrade him a bit so that he's guaranteed to, like, not get stunned or anything. But the snowball slows things down, and he's just a pretty good. Mutant Toilet 2.0 time. Okay, good. He didn't go for the stun, but whatever rocket guy just shot definitely went for the stun on the Frost DJ's your man right now. He's gonna get the mutant toilet 2.0 though. We're fine. Ooh, he gets one shot. We need to upgrade him. Okay, 2,500 upgrade. Now look at his range. And he does 4,000 DPS. Oh no, he can still get stunned pretty easily though. And there's an explosive flying toilet. Ooh, that, that's not gonna look good for him. Yeah, we don't really have many healing units or anything like that, so getting around wave 21 is starting to be kind of difficult. I saved up 4,000, so here's the 4,000 upgrade. Now he does about 7,000 something DPS and has a lot more range, so this is totally worth it. I forgot if I made it where he has any stuns he can block, but I'm just gonna upgrade him enough where his range is far enough where we don't have to matter. <laughs> where you don't have to worry, not matter. Bro, the last match I played, everything was fine. Why are the toilets becoming like evil and glitching? At least they're not constantly glitching back and forth like last time, but Evan really needs to fix it. I can finally get the 8,000 upgrade, so that makes him go up to around 12. 
12,000 DPS. He still has the same cooldown, but a little bit more range and damage. I keep turning auto skip off and back on because there's so many things spawn, and I do not want both of these guys to get stunned. Having no healing units makes it kind of hard. Uh oh, airplane toilet got past this guy. We're probably gonna lose soon. I mean, these are good units, but we just can't survive if they keep getting stunned. Bro, we're barely clutching this every single time. One of them gets stunned, the other one gets the guys that stunned them, and then it just is like an endless cycle. But I only need 12,000 for the next upgrade, which is gonna make him do 12,500 damage per second. Or actually, no, that's gonna be 15,000 damage per second. All right, we need that upgrade. Oh, wait, this guy has 300,000 health and launches rockets. Uh-oh. Nah, he just stunned both of them, and he has 40,000 health left. Oh, no. The dual blade toilet kept the TV man stunned. This is not looking good. Bro, and that guy just keeps instantly stunning my guy. Why do you do that? The Sinister Titan TV man will probably get him on the way around. Yeah, if I skip, I can get the 12,000 upgrade. You just need to do enough damage or things can't get within his range to stun him. That's the only solution. Or we could also put one, like, right here, and then he'd be too far to get stunned, but you could also put one right here so I can't stun when they originally go around here. I don't know. We got a few options. Let's, let's see what happens. I'm also gonna put a Frost DJ Speaker Man right here just because of how much range he has. 7,500 DP. Yes, should be enough to get a lot of things. Oh, there's a boss toilet 3.0. I'm gonna have to start upgrading this guy. Oh, there are two UFO toilets, and one of them is a laser UFO toilet. <laughs> that is not good. That is not good. I don't know if we can get both of them, especially the laser if he goes invisible. 90k, 70k, 60k. Come on, we're so close to getting him. Yes, we win. Oh, we win that wave. We're, I don't know if we can win wave 50. His next upgrade is totally worth it, bringing him from 15 to 25,000 DPS, but it is 14,000, so I'm gonna be saving up for a while. Uh oh, look at how much stuff is getting through and he keeps getting stunned. At least most of them can't reach the Frost DJ speaker, man. That's like the only thing keeping us alive right now. Oh no, the dual blade buzzsaw toilet. The dual buzzsaw man. It's up to RNG now. If the minigun toilet doesn't stun him, then we're fine. Come on, sinister man, get unstunned. Oh no. Oh no, oh, that was so close. That was so- Oh, this is also gonna be really close. Look at this dual flying buzzsaw toilet. Come on, get him. 200k. No, if he goes this way, we're dead. If he <laughs> we might be dead. We might be dead. He definitely might be dead right now. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna put more sinister men. Come on. Come on, Buzzsaw man. Come on, Buzzsaw man. You know you wanna stop. No, no. Bad Buzzsaw. Bad. No, the Buzzsaw got me. All right, we, we kind of just lost on wave 36. I mean, if I put the Sinister Man right here where he was farther and couldn't get stunned or in a different location that made him a lot harder to stun, that might have been possible. So it could still be possible to win with these units. Just like kind of didn't put the Titan in that great of a placement, but it definitely is pretty hard because we don't have farms and we don't have healing units. Those are two really important support units. If I had these two units and like the Santa TV Man or Scientist and like a Medic, or something that would be very good but as always subscribe with the notifications on and like the video but thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next video